Y'all do realize that on Sunday, October 11th, it was National Coming Out Day. Congratulations to everyone. to yourself is also a thing like coming to that realization that you know wait i'm gonna be a little mm -hmm. a little different but little different that's okay welcome to subconscious yes you know we're gonna do something different today we're gonna do a mukbang we're gonna start off by telling you guys what we're eating wendy's so my favorite burger from wendy's is a baconator because it's like sweet and savory, like the sauce is just on point to me. Mm. Um, so I know Wendy's came out with some other burgers, but this is a classic Wendy's burger. Mm. I fucks with it. What are you eating? It'd be expensive too. Burgers be expensive up in that bitch. It's good. It's better than any, like it's better than Burger King. It's better than McDonald's. True. It's better. Wendy's is the, the best for the price. You know what I always get? What'd a four get? for four. What's that? A four for four. It's like you get the you get the small fries, the spicy or regular nuggets, the little small drink, and you get a little sandwich. And I'd be good. Damn. I'd be good for that four for four. Okay. Well, I got a salad today. Usually I get a burger. I like messing around with Wendy's burgers. Yeah. But today I wanted something cool. That's Cold. a fancy ass salad. Yeah, it's uh, the apple pecan salad with chicken, you know? Got some apples up in there, lettuce. Got, what else they got up in there? Cheese, I think. Some I blue know. cheese. I don't like blue cheese, so. Oh, uh, help me. Okay. <laughs> I can't open those things, ever. Uh, apparently you can't either, girl. There you go. Oh, shoot. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, you wanna let Dang, them know what we're gonna do. talk about today? So, today we are talking about coming out. Cause we gay and we had to come out. <laughs> yeah, we had to come out. And um, are also gonna talk about like, what are moments in time that we knew like, oh wait, like I'm catching feelings for this one. Oh, I'm looking at this. You know what I'm saying? What made you look in that, you know, direction? Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna stop right here because Gizmo tends to play with his toy while we're filming. Yeah, so. You notice that? Yeah. So I'm gonna take this toy away from this dog. I don't know why he does that. He I don't know. I don't know. But he, he, I think he's happy. I think he's happy that you're home. So it's like he's more like excited. You so he's so? willing to play with stuff. Cause like he's sad. You know, he's like looking at the door, looking out the oh, window. Oh, he's oh, on the, his seat. This one. Now this one. You don't want it doesn't squeak. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm back. Let me shake my little salad, salad real quick before we get started. All right, let's go ahead and start with you. You may be 22 years old, but I feel like you've been living this gay lifestyle pretty much the same amount of time I have, even though okay. I'm like older. I realized what I was interested in when I was 18 years old. Mm -hmm. Oh, was it 19? So I was late in the game. 15 years ago. Mm, yeah, girl. But you were young when you. But I knew that one. I honestly, from the jump, literally from the jump, guys, <laughs> I was telling my friends that I like girls. Like, not I'm not kidding. Like, what do you mean from the jump? What from does that mean? From the jump. Like, I'm talking like, like fourth, fifth grade type shit. Like, it was clear and apparent to me that, that is what I liked. Mm. So, like, it would be on the deal of like, you know, like, I would like probably drop hints and shit, but there came a point where there's this group that I hung out with in the summer and everyone knew I was gay. I was looking at old pictures of myself and like going through my timeline. I'm like, I've been talking about being gay for so fucking long, like most of my entire life. So let's get to the coming out part. The only time I actually had to come out was when my mom called me in freshman year of high school or eighth grade and she was like, Oh, so you have any boyfriends? <laughs> there are any guys that you like? And I was so over her asking me, cause I felt like in real life I actually was pretty open with it about it. Like no one cared. No one cared. Like none of my friends cared. I had a couple run-ins, but like my actual friends never cared. So, so I'm thinking your mom knew that you were, but wanted you to tell her. No. 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 She just asked that. I was tired of her asking me. 
So I was just like, mom, like I like girls and like every fucking mom, almost everyone is like, well, I'm not gonna have no grandbaby. <laughs> like, Always. I was like, you're still gonna have grandkids. Like, Why do they do that? Why do they automatically assume that you're not gonna have Because they child? live a certain life and like all they know is like, I'm gonna put a, you can, the only way you can have kids is like naturally or like that. Do they not realize? And why do they think we don't want kids? Right, girl, tell me about it. Mm -mm. That's just interesting. So later on, my mom got upset with me about something. And my dad comes in and he's like, your mom told me you were gay. Or you like girls, is that true? I'm like, I just looked at him like, yeah. And that was it. How did he take it? You guys know Glee was really big for me in middle school. And I would watch it like every time it came on. And there was one scene with Brittany and Santana. He walks in, he's like, this is why you acting like that. You see this on TV, you just see this on TV. So pretty much he's thinking it's a phase. Okay. And and then like, I guess as I got older, I think he realized it wasn't. And he would just be like, you need to be careful out here. But pretty much he just wanted me to be safe. He didn't really, I know for a fact, he doesn't care. Right. Like, I don't think he cares at all. Like, I'm his kid, he doesn't care. He's never said that to me, but action speaks louder than words, and it's never been a problem. So, yeah. So, see, when I came to realize that I was gay, I didn't know my whole, I wish I knew it when I was younger like you. Mm -hmm. Cause I would have been dating a lot earlier. I would have been kissing a lot earlier. I probably would be having sex a lot earlier. I ain't gonna lie to you. But because I didn't know, I obviously did not have no interest in anybody. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know anybody who was around me. Mm -hmm. So that was never like an option. Like that was never like something that I would have ever thought of. And then I realized and I look back now, I'm like, damn, I was always gay, right? Mm -hmm. you, I, I feel like you're born gay. I know some, some gay people may even think that you're not. Can you believe that? We know a lot of straight people think that you're not born gay. Mm -hmm. But there's some people in the community that think that we're not neither. I think that it, because they were so far gone from that. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you, like, how do you just, you're attracted to what you're attracted to. You like what you like and you like, what, it's like eating food. Mm -hmm. You know what you don't like to eat. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I just know. hate fucking tomatoes. They repulse me. Just like men. <laughs> I hate cilantro. You know? Just like men. No, you just, just know. That's you just a good know. way to put it. You just know. Like, people, you're not allergic to it or nothing, but you right. definitely don't fucking like it. You know that. You don't fucks with it. You don't fuck with it. And you well, not, you refuse to eat it. You refuse to put it in your mouth. You refuse yeah. to taste it. Ever. <laughs> 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 That's a good way to put it. Yeah, so, I mean... But yeah, like now like, stop it, Gizmo. He's really annoying me right now. But now looking back at it, I'm like, damn, I think I had a crush on one other student mm -hmm. in my history class. And then I would think I had a crush on a teacher, female teacher too. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, I've been gay. Yeah, I've been gay. So I came to the realization when I actually started having feelings for a friend of mine. That's how I knew, I'm like, oh shit, thumbs up. <laughs> So I came out not as gay, I came out as bisexual. Mm -hmm. You know, that's usually um, how it starts. Yeah. So right away, once I figured myself out, I was very religious, mm -hmm. so I cried a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm like, there's no way that I can be. This is crazy, like, no, I don't want this. Mm -hmm. Didn't last long though, bitch. Mm -hmm. Did not last long. <laughs> I'm, I'm gay, I like this. So I came out to, um, I think my brother and my sister first, and then, I came out with uh, with all my siblings. I got all the siblings together, Damn. and I told all of them what I was. That's Cause nice. mind you, nobody around me is gay or what bisexual. What's their reaction? <laughs> like, what are they doing? Like, what are um, they They were fine with it. They had no issues with it. I think um, when I came out to my mom, mm -hmm. she just thought I was just confused, which a lot of parents think. And, you know, you're just a little, you're just confused. But they were never against it. I mm -hmm. think now now they know I'm mm -hmm. gay as fuck. It's been a minute. <laughs> yeah, now they know. Mm. Coming out of school was something at one point, like, in sixth grade, I had a boyfriend for like two weeks. It was a big deal for some reason. 
that I had a boyfriend. Brianna, <laughs> Brianna has a boyfriend, Brianna. <laughs> Whack as hell. When I think back on that two weeks, I realized how much toxic masculinity starts so fucking young. Mm. That two weeks literally was like, that two weeks made me like, I don't give a fuck, I'm gay. Like, yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> like, I would try to like, Mm -hmm. Flip on and off. Like I'll like try to be like you know more like you know stud like like more masculine like, and then I'm like no 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 and revert back and like wear my long hair and shit like that. But then I was just like I don't really care anymore after that. Cause so this was what happened. So I was like I ended up going out with this guy because my literally because my friend told me to, not because I actually wanted to. It was nothing about him that I actually liked. And when he would come around, I have to dress up so girly. This is only two weeks. <laughs> I had to dress up so girly. And then um, it was a day where he wasn't supposed to come over, but he was friends with the, my friend that lived in the building downstairs. So he would kind of just randomly pop up, but I didn't say I was going to see him that day. Mm. And I was dressing all like, you know. Uh oh. Like at my crib. Uh oh. At my house. He comes knock, knock, knock on the door, and I open the door, and he's there, and he's like, "Why are you dressed like that?" Damn. He's like, he should have asked you that. Yeah, he's like, "You're getting blah, 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 all this other stuff," or just like coming off hella like Damn. prejudice or whatever. This is sixth grade, mind you. Wow. This not even like nothing high school. This is sixth grade. Um. Wow. And I was just like, he was like, "I'm breaking up with you" or something. I said, like, "Okay." After I closed the door, I was happy as hell. I do not want to fucking you. I didn't want to be with your ass no way. Wow. So then, um, there's this one girl. Her name was Jasmine, and she would really come for my ass. You gay? Well, it's time I said bye, right? Mm -hmm. It's like you're bye, 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 bye. Some girl said oh, bye, bye, bye. I had little. Only those moments happen during like middle school. After that, I never had to deal with any homophobia. These kids be rude as hell. Yeah, middle school is the worst time. And um, later on in life, this girl is dating some some girl. Like she honestly what? was just mad that my ass was out and she wasn't pretty much. Interesting. And yeah, so pretty much that's the only bad moment I've had. But instances that I knew I was gay when I was little, mm -hmm. I would have crushes on teachers. I remember in kindergarten, okay. I told my friend like, um, I have a crush on, on a teacher and she went to the teacher and told her. I was kissing girls in kindergarten in the Damn. bushes. What? Yes, I was Damn. kissing girls in the bushes. I was kissing girl, random like girls in the bathroom. I was kissing girls in the sh like. At oh the my god! In the YMCA, we would like get out the pool and like we would have to take showers. And I think like we went into the showers early and we would like be in the showers together. And like not not just one girl, <laughs> multiple girls. I ended up in that shower with. I'm not kidding. All these instances. Y'all made out with each other? Yes. All these. That sounds like an orgy girl. Uh, no, oh no, 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 no. That's what it sounded like. No, separate occasions. <laughs> oh. <laughs> separate I thought occasions. you were all together at once in that shower. No, like, separate damn. occasions. Like I had multiple instances of just making out with girls. Oh my gosh, like being gay, <laughs> really young and knowing you're gay, it's just like really weird, especially in a time, it's different from your time. Mm -hmm versus my time because that was starting to be okay. We didn't care. Okay. We were among each other. It wasn't like ill. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. wasn't so far off. But the first instance of like telling girls how I feel, it was in first grade. I had a crush on Cortland for a long ass time. But I remember giving her like um, a note and then I remember like all three of them like reading it. It was like, it was like a like a movie. All three of them reading it and they're like, ew. Gosh, what is this? <laughs> Ripping it up, throwing it away because they don't know what that is. All they right. know is that they're supposed to like boys and boys are supposed right. to like girls. I don't know what being lesbian is. I'm just going off of like what, what I you feel, feel on the inside, exactly. right? I didn't know that it was a problem right. Damn. for me to feel like that. So I'm sending notes. And then I just started p playing pranks on all those girls in, in the class because they were just mean. <laughs> but um, that's that so many things. You so had all you had all those kisses so many all throughout school, so all in your instances. adolescence. Yeah. And my first kiss was at 18, and it was with a boy. Okay, because I forced myself, girl. Mm -hmm. I forced myself. I'm like, okay. I keep going out with my friends to these parties, and mm. <laughs> they keep hooking up with these fellas, right? Mm -hmm. I have no interest. I'm like, you know what? I gotta give somebody a chance. Oh. So I forced myself into it. 
got my first kiss and it was a wet kiss at that girl Ugh. a wet kiss by a boy that's nasty mm -hmm. and then eventually i did end up like talking to like two more guys that lasted about a month mm -hmm. maybe two months mm -hmm. so that didn't work out too well obviously but then when i started having fins for my friend and i got involved with her i'm like oh this is this seems right this yeah. seems you know the this feeling. is it yeah this is definitely why i've always felt that i was different and that was you that's felt, how I figured it out. You feel like everything makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's it all the pieces come together yeah, once like, you figure it especially out. Especially when I look at a guy, it's just like whatever. When I look at a girl, I'm like, hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? You get a hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't help something like that. That was it. It was strictly women after that. I'm having the best time of my life. And you know how many how many women I've hooked up with? And when I say hook up, it's not sex. Because mm -hmm. that to me is different. Like intimacy is such a big de deal to me. It's something special. But I sure did make out with a lot of females. I went clubbing so many times and throughout my years. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I was so happy to find myself. And if you guys yeah. are trying to figure yourselves out and it's going to take time. Yeah, it's going to take time. Question everything you need to question and it, ex experiment. It also maybe? just depends on like where you live at. Mm -hmm. Like, if you live in a place where you might be hurt, just, and uh, you're young and you're in high school or maybe you're in college right now, just wait. It's better to be safe and wait. And maybe just be more open with your friends, the people that actually care about you. If you guys want to tell us your coming out stories or just like a snippet of it in the comments, please, we want to see them. Like, we want to know. Do so. How was your coming out? Like, was it smooth? Was it reckless? Like, how did that go for you? Yeah, because I'm so curious to know. Yeah. Everyone has a story and I want to hear it. Yeah. All right, you guys, tell us what you thought about this mukbang. Should we do another one? Different kind of food? And if so, what kind of food you guys want us to taste? Yes. And also, if for any other video ideas that you might have yeah. that you want us to do, comment below and let us know. All right, guys, much love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time we upload. See y'all next video. Peace. Peace.